let me tell you first a little bit of I, about IP. So when I say IP, I'm referring to the interpersonal practice curriculum. We use the term IP. And it's one of two concentrations that are currently available, right, in the advanced year for MSW students. And really what we're trying to do is prepare students to work with individuals, families, and groups, and to work in systems like, let's see if the next slide is what I want to on now. But never mind. Uh, so to work in systems like mental health treatment agencies, substance use disorder treatment, hospital settings, hospice settings, uh, school settings, uh, residential treatment facility, all of these kinds of agencies and, and treatment centers are, are usually um, the places where many um, interpersonal practice students end up working. And our concentration currently is really the point is to help uh, social work students learn how to work with clients with multiple problem areas um, across um, multiple levels. So social work practice is rarely one thing. Often what we're doing is working with um, individuals who have multiple psychosocial problems. That's part of what uh, being a social worker involves. And therefore we need multiple, many tools in our toolkit. And our new integrative practice curriculum is designed to give you just that. Many tools in your tool belt as you work with many different clients at different stages across the life course with a whole range of psychosocial concerns. So the outline for this curricular area is that we have three courses that, um, that are non-electives that are part of what you take in the IP curriculum area. Uh, DSM, an assessment course, and integrative theories for intervention. So the integrative theories for intervention course gives you a taste of many different um, practice theories and many different interventions that one might use in IP. Uh, so the integrative theories course will give you a taste of what cognitive behavioral theory is and application of that theory, but psychodynamic, client-centered, family systems, substance use treatment, and trauma. So you get a piece of all of those things in the integrative theories for intervention course. And from that course, you may decide that you wanna dig more deeply, take a deeper dive into some of these practice theories and applications. So you'll have the opportunity to choose from a whole list of intervention electives that will allow you to um, look more closely and hone your skills a bit, a bit more in one of these uh, practice areas within interpersonal practice. Okay. So the IP courses really build on your foundation, your knowledge of human behavior, practice, research, and policy. They, it, they include content on children, adolescents, and adults, so across the developmental spectrum. And the point is that we take a really integrated approach to address multiple psychosocial concerns across the life course. Whichever intervention courses you end up taking, you can be sure that they have the same uh, competencies and rigor across client-centered and CBT and psychodynamics. So you'll get many similar skills across those, but through the lens of certain um, practice perspectives. Okay. And when you come to the IP breakout room, we can talk more in depth about those. So an overview of the interpersonal practice content is a focus on clinical methods and process, no matter what IP courses you take. Uh, developing deeper skills in engagement and assessment. Also thinking about how to formulate a case, how to think about the treatment goals, and how to conceptualize a complex understanding of what's going on with clients, families, and small groups. You get a sense of various models of treatment and effective clinical strategies that span multiple theoretical perspectives. Throughout all of your clinical practice classes, we'll consider ethics and what um, constitutes ethical practice or unethical practice. 
will maintain our lens on social justice, diversity, and vulnerable populations, including the impact of social injustice on some of the clients that we see and some of the problems we may be assessing. We'll also consider some of the major psychopathologies of childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. And we'll learn how to evaluate our own social work practice in both the process of what we're doing with clients and the kind of treatment outcomes. We